Hey all. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about Nexus Firewall and how it works on Nexus Repository OSS. Nexus Firewall is basically to your software what a network firewall would be to your infrastructure. The only things you need to get started are Nexus Repository OSS and a trial license of Nexus Firewall. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to download and install IQ Server. So IQ Server is, is basically a policy engine on which Nexus Firewall runs. So you can download it from this page here, the tar or the zip. And once you've done that, then from your terminal, you can run it with this command. Great, and once it's running, you can switch back to your browser and open the URL there. And then log in with the default credentials. So the first thing we need to do is to install the license so that we can use Nexus Firewall. So we'll go to the administration section and choose our license. Refresh. So we're good to go. So the next thing we need to do is to install a set of, of sample policies. So as I mentioned, IQ Server is a policy engine, which basically defines how Nexus Firewall will react to bad components that it encounters. And this is done by means of policies. So policies are a bit of a complicated topic, um, but Sonotype provides a set of sample policies that make that initial setup easier. So if we go back to the download page, there's a link here to download a sample policy set. And we'll choose this version. And so once we have that, we can go back to IQ Server Go to the Actions drop-down, Import Policies, and choose that file. And those policies are now enumerated below. So the final piece of configuration is in Nexus Repository. And what we'll need to do is to sign in, and then configure it to connect with IQ Server. So we'll enable it, enter the URL, and then the credentials for IQ server. We'll verify the connection, it works, and then save. Cool, so the next thing we need to do is to create a capability for each proxy repository we want Nexus Firewall to monitor. So I will create a new IQ audit and quarantine capability for the Maven Central proxy repository, and then enable quarantine, which we'll talk about in a, in a minute. So at this point, we are all configured and ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is demonstrate uh, what Nexus Firewall reports to you by running a build on Maven itself. So as you can see, the build completed successfully. So let's switch back to Repository Manager and take a look at the report. So we go to the repository section. There's Maven Central and under the IQ policy violation we can click this open link to open the report. So we see a bunch of things that the Nexus Firewall found, um, different policies that, was that were violated and the components um, associated with those violations. So if you click a component like Jackson Core for example, you can view more information about that component. So um, another thing that Nexus Firewall can do is it can actually block these bad components from entering your repository to begin with. And that's done through a feature called Quarantine. So uh, to enable Quarantine, you go to IQ Server and select the policy you want to uh, take action against. So we'll choose the Security High policy. And we will choose to fail um, in the proxy stage, which essentially means that if we attempt to proxy a bad component, instead of proxying uh, that component, Nexus Firewall will quarantine the component and let us know. So let's save this change. And it's also worth noting that this will only occur for components that have not already been proxied. So we will need to pick a component, let's say Jackson Core, and delete it. And then we will rerun the build.
And you can see that this time the build failed with the reason that a requested item was quarantined, which was the component that we deleted, Jackson Core. So now if I go back to Repository Manager and look at the report again, you'll see that we have a quarantine symbol. And if I filter by quarantine components, that Jackson Core component shows up. So let's say that we decide that we're willing to accept the risk that this component represents. So I can click into this policy, go to the policy tab, and choose to waive the security high policy for this component. And then I can release the quarantine on the component itself. So at this point, the component disappears from the quarantine section and has been permitted into our repository. So now, if I rerun the build, it should pass. And obviously, you can see that the build succeeded this time because it was able, able to fetch the component that we unquarantined. So when you think about remediating components, um, most of the time waiving a, a, a policy violation is not the thing you will want to do. Most of the time you will want to remediate by updating your component to a newer, less vulnerable version, or perhaps by switching to a, a different component that has a um, more acceptable licensing scheme. The other thing to note is that because Nexus Firewall will not block components that have already been proxied by your repository, if you want additional enforcement points, such as um, at build time or when a, a component is released, um, you would need to use Nexus Lifecycle, which is our other solution and that also uses IQ Server. And that's about all I had to show. If you have any other questions about Nexus Firewall, feel free to uh, drop us an email or take a look at a quick start guide that we've put together, um, which goes into basically the workflow that I just talked through with a few more details as well. Thanks for your time.